Hi everyone, my name's Heather. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Nature Coast Vintage. So this is my first YouTube video. I'm usually on Instagram for the most part, but um, I'm a beginner to flip books and I kind of wanted to share my flip book with you guys in hopes that other beginners would find it useful in learning some of the basics about making a flip book. So um, my flip book is inspired by another YouTuber. I will comment her video in the comments section. And um, I kind of based my design around hers because although I've made a few flip books in the past, I wasn't exactly happy with how everything came out. I really wanted something that had a lot of detail and layers and I just wasn't getting that with what I had done in the past. So this is done with Doodlebug's Fun in the Sun collection that came out um, this earlier this summer and I did use a few pieces from um, a few other designers and I'll try and comment those um, as we go through. So um, <clears throat> to open it up I have this here and this is Target Dollar Spot uh, Jute and um, just came out and um, so I fixed it here with a brad that is from um, Hobby Lobby's <clears throat> uh, line and then Doodlebug and Doodlebug. So when you open it up here, you got the cover. This is a Heidi Swap uh, chipboard piece. And then I have um, Doodlebug um, on the cover and more of Hobby Lobby's collection. Doodlebug washi. This is um, the matching washi that came out with this collection. And so then here on the side, I have um, a little embellishment and to open it up. First pocket, I have um, some stickers that I included for her, as well as some cards for her to embellish or use for washi tape. And those I got in the Michael's Dollar Fifty section this summer. And um, some little embellishments that I made that were so simple easy like you just clip down a toothpick and then make your little flag so when you flip it open again I have this little almost shaker more of a um, decoration than a shaker itself um, since it's affixed in the book and you flip it up and I've got another little thing and some stamps I used from Laura by, by Laura and um, then I included some of this confetti that I used which is the uh, Bethany Bethany Mona confetti that they sold at Target and so I included a little glassine bag of that filled for her to use as well and so here in the center I have um, this little pocket that I made to hold some washi samples and I put a little tassel on it that's from Michael's $1.50 section and <clears throat> then I have another little glassine bag here and it's got an artist trading card that I made and some die cuts from this doodlebug collection for her to use in her projects. So then the last pocket I have her letter and then I included um, some of these little clips that were from the Doodlebug collection and these flip up here and I put more stamps. So overall what I learned most doing this um, flip book was um, reinforcing the seams with not just washi but using an extra layer of paper to make the um, connection to make the binding tighter and um, that seems to make a much more steady or sturdy um, flip book and then I also um, trimmed down the interior pages so even though I was using the 6x6 paper pad um, all except for the base page are slightly smaller than 6x6 six six because I trimmed it down just a little bit so that when the book is folded back together it folds more neatly and um, that's just a little 
little tip I learned. Uh, anyways, well, I hope you guys liked my video and that um, maybe it's helpful in you making your flipbooks in the future. And um, let me know what you guys think.